Okay, guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about 5-2, and we're going to be talking about direct variation. Direct variation is very simple, very easy to use, very easy to apply, and you're going to see it on the SAT, so we definitely have to understand and learn it. Before I actually teach what direct variation is, I guarantee you that you guys have heard lightning before, and then you start counting the number of seconds, right? All right, we all do. That's what we've been taught. And then depending on how long it took you to hear the thunder, that determines how far away the lightning is, correct? Well, thinking about that, the time it takes to hear the thunder varies directly with the distance from lightning. And it's modeled by this formula right here, y equals one-fifth x. y is the distance in miles of the lightning bolt, and x is the time that it takes to hear the thunder. So for example, if it takes 20 seconds to hear the thunder, then that particular lightning bolt is four miles away. Okay? The, this is a direct variation. It varies directly. What makes it a direct variation? This unit right here. No matter what x I choose, isn't the y always going to be one-fifth of that? Do you see what I'm saying, guys? If x is 10, y is one-fifth of that. It's 2. If x is 50, y is one-fifth of that. That's 10. If x is 200, y is one-fifth of that. That'd be 40. So when something varies directly with another variable, that means that it is changed by the same constant every single time. So in this particular case with the lightning, once again, the distance okay, varies directly with the time that it takes to hear the thunder. It varies directly by a constant of one-fifth. This is what it varies directly by, the actual constant. Okay? A direct variation is a relationship that can be represented by a function in the form of y equals kx, where y is, as always, the dependent variable. x, as always, is independent. It could be whatever it wants. And k is called the constant of variation. That is what determines the variation between x and y. And this k, this constant of variation, can be solved for, and you can find the k by taking y divided by x. And if you think, excuse me, if you think about it, it makes sense. If I have y equals kx, how do I solve for k there, gentlemen? Divide x to both sides, very good. I want to isolate the variable. Remember that we worked with literal equations, solving for variables? That's why we learned that skill, so we could do things like this. This chapter is going to be putting a lot of skills all together, so we really need to focus. Okay? So the constant of variation is the k. That is what is going to manipulate the x to change the y by a constant rate always. The direct variation is always in the form of y equals kx. If you have anything being added to that x, it's not constant. It's not direct variation. If you have anything being subtracted from that x, it's not direct variation. And last but not least, please remember this. To determine whether an equation represents a direct variation, solve it for y. Solve for y. If you can write the equation in the form of y equals kx, where k is not equal to zero, then it does represent a direct variation. Then it does. So they give you an equation and they say to you, something like, is this a direct variation? It's very simple. Okay? Solve for y and go from there. Solve for y. And if you get it into the format of y equals kx, then you have a direct variation. Okay. Let's do a little concept summary. 
Direct variation means that y varies directly with x. When That means that when x is increasing, y is increasing by the same factor. When x is decreasing, y is decreasing also by the same factor. And k is the constant, so it remains the same for every point x and y. The only number that doesn't change here is the constant, the k. And the k is very similar to slope. Actually, it is the slope. We'll talk about that later. OK, so now, let's do some application. How does this all work? Does the equation represent a direct variation? If so, find the constant of variation. OK, so what did I say we had to do, gentlemen, in order to test to see if these were direct variation equations? I said, no, we have to solve for. We have to solve for y. I just said that in two, just like maybe not even two minutes ago. In order for you to determine if an equation is in direct variation format, didn't I say you have to solve for y? If y, if you have a format of y equals kx, then it is direct variation. So again, for a, how do we solve for y? Divide 7 to both sides. Isolate the variable. y equals 2x over 7. Is that a direct variation? Yes. What is the constant? What is the k? 2 sevenths. Very good. Done. Here, how do we solve for y? Subtract 4x to both sides. Very good. And then? I got 3y equals negative 4x plus 8. Divide by 3. Good job. y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 8 thirds. Is that a direct variation? No. Why? Thank you, because you're adding something to the x, so you have that plus 8 thirds. We had said it very clearly that if you add anything or subtract anything from the x or to the x, it is not direct variation. How about c? How do I solve for y here for c? Subtract 4x. Very good. Very good. Very good. Now I'm left with 5y equals negative 4x. And then how do I solve for y, gentlemen? Divide both sides by 5 y equals negative 4 fifths x. Is that direct variation? Yes, it is. What is the constant of variation? What's the k? Negative 4 fifths. Very good. Very good. Last but not least, how do I solve for y here? No, you don't add 9 to both sides. Remember, when you're solving for something, you don't want to complicate it. You want to make it easier. So I have this negative 3y. I want just a single y. Divide by negative 3. Thank you. Cancel the multiplication with division. And then please remember that this distributes to everything. It's a distributive property, but for division. So that's going to be negative 2x plus 3. Is that direct variation? No. Why is it not direct variation? Because I'm adding 3 to that x. Does that make sense so far? Promise? Okay. Awesome. <laughs> now, suppose that y varies directly with x. I'm telling you that this is a direct variation already. And I say that y is 35 when x is 5. What is the direct variation equation? And what is the value of y when x equals 9? Okay. It's very simple. First of all, they tell you that it varies directly, correct? So what is the equation of a direct variation? y equals kx. Hello? Right? Because only one person told me that. Yes or no? Okay. Did they give me a value of y? What was it? Did they give me a value of k? Did they give me a value of x? How do I solve for k? Divide by 5 to both sides. 
So k equals 7. Now that I know my constant of variation, how do I write my direct variation equation? No. Y equals kx. You don't put a y value down because you don't know what the y value is until you know what the x value is. Does everyone see what I just did here? Okay. What? Why? What part? Okay. Isn't direct variation y equals k times x? Didn't we just find that k was 7? So y equals k, which is 7, times x. Now, that's part 1. Now, what's part 2? What is the value of y when x is 9? y equals 7 times x. But what is x in this case? 9. And so then y equals 63. Done. All this is is evaluating and solving. Evaluating and solving. Okay. Does that make sense, guys, what we just did? Okay, let's do another example. Suppose that y varies directly with x, so you know you have a direct variation already. So you're looking for y equals kx. Okay, so you know they say that suppose y varies directly with x and y equals 10 and x equals negative 2. What are the direct variation equations? What is the direct variation equation, rather? And what is the value of y when x is negative 15? Okay, what value did they give me for y? 10. Did they give me a value for k? Did they give me a value for x? So divide by negative 2. K equals negative 5. So my equation would be, my equation would be y equals negative 5x. Y equals k times x. We know what the k is, so we just plugged it in. So that's part one. We found the equation. Now, part two, what is the value of y when x is negative 15? Well, according to this direct variation equation, y equals negative 5 times x. But in this particular case, x is negative 15. So y equals 75. Does that make sense, gentlemen? Yes, no, maybe, kind of, sort of? Yes? Okay. Now, remember that if the constant of variation k is the same for each pair of data, the relation is direct, okay? It is a direct variation. I want to test in these three here, a, b, and c, I want to test to see if this is a direct variation. Let's see if it is a direct variation, okay? From 6 to 12, you've got, what did you do? I added 6. And from 12 to 15, I added 3. Okay. From 4 to 8, you added. And from 8 to 10, you added. What's 6 divided by 4? We'll reduce it. Huh? 6 divided by 4 is not 2 thirds. 6 divided by 4 is 3 halves. And 3 divided by 2 is still, it's going to be 3 divided by 2. So are these two equal? So that is a constant of variation. That is a direct variation. From 0.32 to 0 0.2, 3.2 uh, to 2.4, what did I do? I subtracted by, huh? 0.8, very good, minus 0.8. From 2.4 to 1.6, I subtracted what? Subtracted by 0.8. What did I do to negative 2 to get to 1? What did I do to 1 to get to 4? Does negative 0.8 divided by 3 equal negative 0.8 divided by 3? So they have a constant change. When you have a constant change like that, it is a direct variation. 
Last but not least, what I do from point 0.225 to get to negative 0.75? Minus 3. Very good. Very good. Very good. What do I do from minus 0 0.75 to get to negative 3? You subtracted 2.25. Very good, son. What do I do to negative 3 to get to 1? Add it 4. What do I do to 1 to get to 3? I mean, to get to 4. Add it 3. Okay, so now, this is negative 3 fourths. Let's see if that equals this one. Negative 2.25 over 3. I'm going to tell you right now, no. Because this is going to be 3 on the outside, 2.25 on the inside, decimal at 7. Oh, actually, yes, it is. Uh, wait, no, that's 1. Yeah, it is. Wow, look at that. 15, that's 5. So, yes, this is negative 0.75. Is negative 0.75 and negative 3 fourths, are they the same? So that is a direct variation. Any question on that, my brothers? Great. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Homework is valid. And God bless you.